Hi guys, it's me and I do look different, I've had my hair cut. Um, I'm now at 90, about 91 kilograms, about 15 stone, started at 20 stone. And it's been all changed for me, not just my hair. Um, I'm in England, so I had my hair cut, got my nice nails and everything, feeling nice. Um, because me and my husband, and we've lived in Sweden for six years. Uh, you know, in the, my last video blog, I was very depressed and worried and anxious uh, about dealing with past issues and counselling and the lack of support that was available for me post-surgery in Sweden. Um, and I think that was just the tip of the iceberg. We've had so much to deal with since we've been in Sweden. And even just the very basic language barrier, although we've done our very, very best to be Swedish and learn Swedish, and the, the opportunities, there just aren't enough here for us for our future. So we made the decision... We're moving back to England. So I'm over on a 10 day flying visit to sort out our new house and everything. And I first thing I did, I walked into a nail salon. Second thing I did was get my hair cut. And I'm so pleased. I haven't had a proper haircut for six years. Um, she didn't have time to do the colour, but she's going to do that next time. And it just, I, you know, it looks so different. I'm actually seeing how I could look, you know, in the future. And I feel really confident and happy now. And even just that little thing helped me feel so much better. And there's loads and loads of counselling available and alternative therapies. And the area that we're moving to in Somerset um, especially has a lot of alternative therapies and healing available. And even the place itself is sort of warmer and just... So I, I know it's the best thing for us, but we're really, really going to miss all our friends that we've made in Sweden who've really supported me before and after surgery and through everything that we've been through. I'm going to miss them, of course I am. Um, but, you know, for the children's sake, they're going to miss Sweden and they speak Swedish, so there's lots of little things. But, you know, they're going to see their grandparents again. And I, oh, the temptation though. As soon as I got off the plane, there was like, oh, there's chocolate and cakes and muffins and pastries and going in a the supermarket there's hundreds of millions of different things but on the plus side there's hundreds of millions of diet things and healthy things and organic things and gluten-free things so I, I was just a bit overwhelmed to be honest at first um, and I kept kind of trying to stick with things I vaguely know like scrambled eggs okay I'm staying in a youth hostel so it's sort of making my own food so I've been having scrambled eggs on a thin piece of um, brown toast I bought sausages though didn't go down too well. <laughs> I bought the cheapest, cheapest one, so maybe like one normal sausage would be okay. I had a full English breakfast at the um, the hotel I stayed in, the Gatwick. Uh, it was a mini full English breakfast. It was beans, a potato crocket, um, a small sausage, and a poached egg. And that was really nice, and I ate it all. And there was a pub I found yesterday. They did scampi and chips, but it was sort of it was a, you can buy a small portion it doesn't state whether you have to be a child or anything so the, or in a diet so I was able to just go in there and buy a small portion scampi about six pieces of scampi a nice salad and some wedges I didn't finish all the wedges but I ate all the scampi protein and um, so this is going to be a whole new chapter to uh, to watch out for all you know <laughs> <laughs> it's always something with me isn't it We've moved to Sweden have children have a dog sledding business you know be a burlesque dancer that have gastric band bypass surgery um move back to england um find a new job new careers it's crazy i've got 10 days to like furnish an entire house that we haven't even got yet and don't get the keys till until we come over um i'm trying to remember to take my vitamins because it's so like i'm so thinking about other things and organizing things i'm taking i'm going to the kids new school today and looking for at the outside of our new house because there's still people living in it um, so I've got to remember to eat and try and eat regularly and in my mind I've got to try and remember what I was told you know in, in Sweden um, the annoying thing is that now I'm not going to be eligible for the free um, possibly free um, plastic surgery on my abdomen if because in Sweden after two years if it's really hindering you you can have this um, plastic surgery although on the news yesterday in Britain it was talking about how they're changing the regulations so that it's not seen as a cosmetic procedure it's now seen as a, a reconstructive surgery for those who've had a gastric bypass so I may be able to still get some help on that interview oh I noticed the other day weird oh, I can't you can't really see it now but this bit was becoming sort of wrinkly and oh I think you can see it there. It kind of worried me because I wasn't expecting something there to happen because that's near my face. People look at my face. My arms, I can I can um, cover them up. They're not too bad at the moment. Mm, but it's starting. This The saggy skin is starting. And then my hair, I had to have this cut. I didn't really want it this short, but it looks really nice. Um, because it was just coming off in 
handfuls and just everywhere. It was horrible. And this isn't still, she wanted to go shorter. She was like, this is dead hair. So she wanted to go shorter. Colouring it is probably not even a good idea at the moment anyway. Um, but this is a positive video. I'm really looking forward to the future. Went to a little seminar last night on the laws of attraction. And it's not about attracting things towards us. It's about flipping our mental, our mindset so that we're feeling positive and happy. And you know what? I can't change the past or what happened to me in the past. And it doesn't really matter because it's the past. So all I can do is think about the future, be positive, embrace my new body, whether it's got a few wrinkles or hangy skin or not. Love my new hair and just be brave. I think I was so scared of flying. I had to have a diazepam. Um, but I did it. I survived. And I'm still surviving and I'm not going to just survive and live. I'm going to live life to the full and enjoy it and embrace it. And that's my positive message for today. So you'll hear a lot more from me soon. I'll try and do a little video blog while we're traveling because we've got to drive for three days with children and dogs um, from North Sweden to England. So that'll be fun. Anyway, speak to you soon, guys. Bye.